Art noises. <laughs> so many of them. So many. <laughs> Farts. Farts are never attractive. Even when you're fat. I mean... There's always that one kid that farts in class, claims it, no one likes him. <laughs> Farting in class sucks, like, straight up. Topic of our video. And also another one, like, happens to guys, not to girls. If it did, it'd be really weird. Um, Getting getting excited in class. Can I just say it so they know what we're talking about? Um, I'll just say it once. When you get a... Uh, Boner. I was Erection. Use a, yeah, like that. Okay. Erection. Yeah. So when it goes. So this is mostly advice for guys, cause I've never seen a girl fart in class. I have. So funny. Fat chick in front of me. Oh, let her nip. Count. It was like, <sighs> and like she tried to play it off cool. She was like, it's like one of those things where you're like, just looking around, you know. Mm -hmm. And like her face got beat red. It was so funny. Anyways, farting in class. Um, there's a few different tactics. The first is not farting. That's holding the, in, obviously holding the in, easiest. Hold it in. Waiting until in between classes when you can go into the bathroom and let it loose, like no other. Or if like you're walking in the hall and you're by yourself, I mean, just let that thing go. But that in class, does not always work. But in class, but when holding it in does not work, there's a fallback, which is sitting next to a fat kid, a smelly kid. Sorry, not necessarily. A fat always kid. Been. so smelly when you kid. fart, do this. Be like, that's your fart. If it's not loud, if it's not loud, you're okay. If it's loud, then then it's gonna be more tricky. You have to play it off by yourself. But if it's kind of like a silent but deadly, you just, you, just just, you have go. to be the first one to smell it. You have to be like, ah, oh, dude, why no, would you do what, that? What I like to do is like be like, you got a smelly thing. I'd be like, like who? You should be like, who? You should be like, oh man, it was him. It was him. He did it. It was Fat Jerry over there. It was Jerry. It was Jerry. Jerry always smells bad. Jerry, I know a Jerry. He doesn't smell bad. Jerry, you're a good kid. I don't know a Jerry except Tappan Jerry. Yeah. Anyways, so let's say that this this Jerry smelled... That's ironic. They would call Germans Jerry's and I... I think so. Anyways, I might be wrong. <laughs> well, too. Could be wrong. Anyways, so let's... You take this Jerry and you blame it all on him. Jerry. It's a terrible thing to do to a person, but at some point in your life, someone will do it to you. It's karma. Mm -hmm. That's just the way the world works. Um, third. Can technique? I tell you mine? Yeah, that's he's gonna do this. This one. is what I do. All right, don't make fun of me. Isn't a pretty good idea. Mm -hmm. My farts it's are all hard. silent by deadly. So guess what I do? So when they don't smell. I put a dryer sheet down my pants, right on the butt. And it might sound weird, but you just tape it onto your underwear. So when you fart, it's not by deadly. Just smell roses. It smells smell. like clean laundry. The people. You smell good today, no? Huh? I'm like. No, I know, I know. And when if you do have those in, and it's it's loud, just say either a you're just making up a noise, b the fat kid did it, Jerry, Jerry's, Jerry's, or c just take blame and laugh about it. I mean, yeah, that's their fourth tactic. Depend if you're in a guy's gym class. Let them rip all the time. Go for it, man. Go for it. But if you're in like a co-ed gym class, wait until you're just around guys. Let one go. Laugh about it. Laugh it's, about it. Guys. All right. Next topic. Next topic. This one's slightly more sensitive, so I'm going to try to be as... Like, it blows. <laughs> That's funny. Okay, so <laughs> the first way to circumvent this is to not... Don't think about that stuff in not. class. I mean, act like you're in the if you don't want room, this, put, act like you're you in the locker want... room. Like, don't think of that. Second, I don't mean, wear sweats. That's never sweats, good. Sweats it brings it out. I mean, if you just like have like a even, if it's like this, half, if it's just like even that, a half, they can tell them that everybody be like, no, no, hey, hey, what, hey, what's 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 in your pants? A pencil? Roll of quarters. It's a pencil. I needed some quarters for the vending machine. With me, they're like, "No, why is that? Why is there a why is there a tree in your pants?" I'm just like, "I don't know." Okay, second way to circumvent this: pant legs. Pant leg. Squeeze it like down. Like if here's your pants, right? Put it like, like that. Choose a side. Go to that, and then put it down your leg. And then 
I mean, if you're wearing jeans, don't really be tall. Put your hand in the pocket that's yeah. like in the side. Or if you've got a binder, kind of carry that because it's kind of in front of the side that you're. Eventually it'll go away. I mean, yeah. if like you. Unless you. Unless it lasts more than four hours, then call your doctor. I always hate those commercials because no one's going to wait four hours. Who would wait four hours? After all, I'd be like, help me. <laughs> <laughs> Something's wrong with me. Help me, please. I, I can't get rid of it. That happens to me all the time. But you should get that checked out. I'm kidding. Okay, fourth way, flip it up into your, like, waistline. Like, into your, like, like this part here. As long as you're wearing a long shirt, you should be good. If it's short, don't yeah. resort to that tactic. Or if you're wearing shorts. Shorts, you're basically fucked. Mm-hmm. So. Yeah, so don't wear sweats and don't wear shorts. Mm -hmm. So, those are our classroom tips for today. Classroom tips. Most important. Um, su subscribe, like, watch, tell friends. Whatever. You know? But don't get what we just talked about when you watch this video. Unless if you're a girl. You know who you are. <laughs> Peace out.